Hey, this is Stacy Phillips, and this is my video log for Saturday, December 28th, 2013. Today I wanted to briefly um, talk about the new year coming up. Um, 2014, wow, here we go. Uh, how many times have we made New Year's resolutions to get healthy? And how many times has it come to January 8th? <laughs> And we've dropped those New Year's resolutions uh, because of whatever reason came up that was more important than our health. Um, so this year I wanted to talk a little bit um, about combining your desire and your reason in order to attain a goal. Um, really, when our biological proclivities in our bodies, maybe I've lost some of you already, but... We are designed to um, eat calories and store fat. Um, we haven't always lived in this uh, current culture, you know, that I call this current Western culture of decadence, where we have every type of food at our avail, and we have hundreds of thousands, literally, of ready calories, uh, you know, that food scientists have made their living and their fortune combining in such a way that really gets us hooked and addicted. And our bodies, hey, our bodies are really happy to store all of those calories as fat because that's what we're designed to do. Um, because in old days, there also used to be famine. And I don't mean to say old days as in famine isn't going on right now in the world. There are plenty of places in the world that there is famine. So so this design that we were designed to do um, is a really good one, actually. Um, I'm sitting on my chair here. That's why I'm reorganizing myself. Um, it's a good design, and it, it has caused us to be able to uh, live as a people and as a, as a, as a race and as a... As a um, species on this earth for so long. However, in this country right now, um, with all of the excess calories uh, and, and our desire to eat them uh, has resulted in really an obesity epidemic. Um, you know, two-thirds of Americans are overweight and fully half of those are obese. So uh, I was one of them. I mean, I have my my before picture with my husband, you know, this is a, this is a picture of us before we decided to get healthy. My husband had his double chins going. I think I had double or triple chins going or just a mono chin all the way down to my shoulder blades. I'm kind of not sure what to call that. Um, but you know, I was uh, class four, super obese for a lot of my years of being married. And that's why this, you know, anniversary has kind of brought up a bit of reflection for me as well, because out of the 22 years we've been married, I've been overweight or obese for 20 of those years. Uh, and really, um, class 3 and class 4, morbid and super obese, for probably 16 or 17 of those 20 years. Um, you know, just kind of overweight in between gaining and losing for some of those other years. But um, literally, I, I have been that. And this really is my first... Um, experience in my adult life, in my adult married life, the last couple of years of being a healthy weight. And it's so fun. It's so fun. Get here as fast as you can. Because, well, I mean, within reason and, and say, contact me and I'll, I'll set you on the path on a, on a safe and effective program that's been recommended by 20,000 physicians. The brand has been recommended by 20,000 physicians. And, um, yeah, there's just no reason. It's, it's simple. There's no reason that you can't accomplish this. So contact me, Stacy Michelle Phillips at gmail.com. That's S T A C Y M I C H E L L E P H I L L I P S at gmail.com. So um, anyway, we were designed to store calories as fat. And so, you know, our reason and our desire um, have to work together to overcome that biological predisposition um, because it's pretty strong. So, you know, either reason alone or desire alone. It's, you know, reason without desire makes you apathetic. Desire without reason, um, you have no strategy. So put them together and first decide where you want to go, what, what you want to create with your life. Not what you, don't look at what you have to give up, you know, in, in terms of what you're going to have to give up to get there. Um, 
Think about what you want to create. Think about health. Think about think about this person, okay, me, at this weight, 272 pounds, saying, you know, kind of looking into the future and saying, you there in the screen, I see you. I I I I think that that's possible for me. And so that is what I'm after. Where you are now is where I want to I want to go. Um I had to have this in my mind. I had to I had to see this as a creative process that something good that I was going to be bringing into my life as a result of the short-term sacrifices or the short-term deprivations um that would come along the way and you know I'm not gonna lie there are there are times where you do feel like it's the deprivation it's kind of a bummer you know not being able to eat what you want to eat but you know what I realized along the way is that I could first of all I could either eat what I wanted to eat or live the life I wanted to live I could not do both simultaneously but what is cool is once I started along that process what I wanted to eat started to change and started to fall in line with my desires to be healthy. And so they weren't competing anymore. But I mean, rarely would they compete. There, there would be a few times, maybe holidays and Christmas cookies and glass of wine or champagne here and there. Great. Those kinds of things would still compete and I'd still have to make a choice. But for the most part, because I desired and I reasoned to live this life, in health, because I decided to do that, what started out, what may have started out as me depriving myself, did not, it turned around pretty quickly, and my happy started pretty fast. Because when I saw the results, when I saw what could happen, um, and what I could create, and the possibilities, just opened up a whole new world for me. And, you know, sorry, a little bit of flour, sugar, fat, salt, you know, whatever, nothing can compete with how I feel now and I knew that I knew that that would be the case and so this person right here to me of a couple years ago um, instead of looking at this as a quote-unquote diet or a massive deprivation every day and you know putting on my martyr face and saying oh no you know the Eeyore oh no I'm on a diet I can't have that you know, um, instead of doing that, I'm like, I oh, know, you know, no thanks, I'm fine. You know, that's not really my food anymore. I'm, I've, I've changed. I, I've changed. And because I changed, I changed. My outsides caught up with my insides. So let me just tell you that this process is amazing. I, I, I feel a little bit manic today because I'm just, you know, looking back on the last three or four years of a journey. And it's just a constant state of of improvement and it, it never ends like it, and it's awesome that it never ends I never want this constant state of improvement to end it's always a new challenge and now actually um, I'm going to be running a marathon in Paris uh, when am I doing that in April April 6th I'm flying well in March I'm flying over to Paris and I'm going to spend some time over there just um, just seeing the sights and running a marathon. It'll be my first marathon ever. And then when I get back, I've actually got my sights set on eventually um, being an ultra marathoner. So that's kind of just something I've been thinking about the last few days even. But um, I had to get here to think about that possibility. Um, so anyway, just know that um, health is a possibility for you. you. You don't have to like go from this to running marathons. Um, I didn't. I didn't do that. I, I went from this to walking uh, without my cane, which was which was good, which was a good start. And then um, after I ditched the cane and my knees didn't hurt anymore, um, and then I just started being a little more active. And for me, that meant, you know, parking my car a few spots farther from the grocery store or bringing one bag in from the car and going out to get another bag and bringing it in from the car. Or it meant uh, if I had to go to the first floor and I was on the ground floor, maybe I would take the stairs. Uh, you know, and with the, this, this gal to take the stairs, that's a big deal. And <laughs> one flight is plenty big deal. So, um, and then I started walking. You know, I just started walking. Once I was out of the super and morbidly obese, Zone, I just started walking like 20 minutes and then 
you know, a couple times a week, and then I, I can walk 30 minutes, you know, four times a week, and then I found that I really liked walking, because it cleared my head, and it just gave me those exercise endorphins, and um, when I went from the obese to the uh, health to the overweight range, which for me, I'm 5'3", so um, that was, yeah, that was about, about in the 160s, yeah, 168 is when I started to be overweight instead of obese, because I'm 5'3". Um, I started a running program, uh, and uh, just so, something slow, something easy, all, all within our program's guidelines, um, and just, you know, a little bit at a time, uh, found out I really enjoyed running, you know, like I did in high school. I really enjoyed running by myself. Um, and then uh, as I moved toward a healthy weight, you know, right on the borderline of overweight to healthy weight, um, I even added a little bit more exercise in, but still within that guideline. Um, so... Uh, and it's only been now that I'm in uh, transition and maintenance that I have, um, I've really upped my running and I'm, uh, I've got long days and it's really fun. So, um, oh gosh, I went off on a tangent on exercise. I didn't mean to do that, but I just wanted to let you all know that, you know, you don't, you don't go from here. It, it'll be overwhelming to think, oh, here to marathon, but you can dream it. You can dream it. I had the dream four years ago uh, when I started. I had the dream when I was, when I was looking like this and feeling like this. I had the dream of running the Paris Marathon someday. So uh, anyway, if you can think it and you can believe it, then you can begin it. So um, so let's go. Email me and let's get started in this new year and make 2014 a year of health for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.